My guy Paul, he asks, who are we to say that heaven and hell are just states of mind and not real places? Sir, that is the million dollar question to which most people are asking. Most people who, and let me put this more concisely, most people who are awakening are asking. The people that I said in another video that are dead, no. They're not asking this question. They've already accepted the fact that they are at such a low state of being that they're filthy rags and that they need something outside themselves in order to save themselves those people they're not asking that question because for them they've accepted that it's some deity outside themselves that has created heaven and hell and that they have no choice other than believe in that deity or not so when you ask who are we we are the ones that realize that as your own book tells you we are created in the image of the creator meaning the mental imagery of the creator the energetic imagery of the creator not the physical not male and female not a human we also realize that in some of your teachings it tells you that heaven is at hand but it also tells you that Sheol is present Gethsemane is present Hades is present it tells you that after the war in Book of Enoch, after the war in heaven, that earth became the prison of who y'all call Satan, the devil, and all of his demons. And yet we live here on earth, but yet heaven is at hand. The Gospel of Thomas says that if you do not bring that which is inside of you, outside of you, you will never see heaven. And he said that heaven is inside of you, that you are heaven, but you can also be hell. It is all a state of mind. But you have to be able to recognize that. You have to be open enough to recognize that you have more power than you give yourself. That the ability to manifest is within you. Wouldn't it be funny if you got to heaven and your God said, I gave you all the information. Sure, it was cluttered by culture. It was cluttered by people who were greedy and wanted power for themselves. But I gave you everything that you needed in order for you to recognize who you truly are. But you never took an opportunity. You never went beyond what they told you. And you accepted what they told you as if it was my words. I'm very disappointed in you. You ever consider that?